Hey guys, this video is about sports and about how they're fake. I know that's like really crushing news to people because people like sports. And what I mean by that is like on the, like the professional whatever level. But yeah, you see they're all like, okay. Basically they have like magnets and stuff and like uh, computer chips that can turn the balls into like, you know, like how missiles can be guided or whatever rockets, like whatever, or drones. Well, basically the balls can be turned into that. Like they they literally say, if you look up um, the basketball companies for the professional stuff, football, that they have computer chips in them and that they can reposition them or whatever. And that there's likely like magnets on it and everything. On the, like, so like the, the hoop, for the basketball hoop and the uh of what is it the goal whatever in football i don't i don't really watch watch sports but i i did watch some videos about this and it seemed to check out so like what i mean is like if you watch the balls sometimes they'll get stuck on the the football goal and then in like in basketball that even happens like there's this like freak incident i saw online where this guy, he shoots the hoop at uh, a what, whatever it's called in basketball, where you get you can you get to shoot one. It's like everybody else is off the f uh, field, or uh, whatever whatever it's called, and the one guy gets to shoot the ball for wh whatever reason, and it get, it gets stuck on the the basketball hoop, like it's just like balancing there perfectly, like that shouldn't be possible unless it was it's like magnets or whatever making it stuck. And the same thing kind of happens in football, apparently. I didn't know this till recently. And yeah, like it, one of my previous videos, one of my uh, biggest hits so far on here has uh, been uh, when I talk about how North Korea doesn't exist. And I talk, I talk about how, yeah, the only proof we have for that is like uh, Dennis Rodman says he's been there. And I talk about how, I, yeah, in the 90s, I remember him being on because I'm in Chicago, like the uh, Chicago Bulls and everything. Like, I remember seeing that on TV, thinking it was cool. Uh, but, like, yeah, maybe he's a good guy, and he was just, like, I don't know. They offer you a lot of money. Uh, maybe maybe he is a good guy, and he's just like, well, this is just what I, I got to do. And they, they've got magnets in it. And it still, I'm sure, takes a high degree of athleticism for to be a basketball player, football player, baseball player, hockey player, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it's real. I think it, cause think about it. If something can be rigged, well, it basically can or will, it will be rigged, especially like the higher the stakes, the more money in it, the more likely that's gonna happen. And that's like unprecedented. Like it's, it's look at, look at the amount of money in it, like for, all the football leagues, baseball leagues, basketball leagues, and none of this includes like whatever little league or whatever, like not or non-professional, whatever the term is uh, for sports. I just mean like on the, on the super prof professional level, like, I don't know. It, yeah, it, it, I've looked into it and yeah, they, they clearly have these like chips in the balls and no one's allowed to take them. It's not like how it used to be. Like, yo, you can, someone catches the ball for whatever, and it goes out of the basketball stadium, and someone gets to keep it. And but now they take it from you. Like, oh no, you can't. You you can't take that. And the reason is because the official reason is because of the computer chips and, and like whatever other gadgets they have. That it's like, oh no, well this is a property of the professional sports. Uh, what a property of the Illuminati, basically. <laughs> they, they, they don't want people to get it and figure it out and reverse engineer and, th and realize what they're up to, I suppose. So yeah, that's beyond suspicious. I'm pretty much convinced about this one. It's, it, I don't know. I I don't want people to like feel like crushed, like people that, because people get so excited. It's like, uh, kind of like a religion almost to people. It's like they, they get, especially here in Chicago, 
I know guys that are like, they have their walls plastered with like Chicago Bulls, uh, the, the, the Bears, Sox, Cubs, Blackhawks, like all, all over the walls. It's like they build little shrines and they have pictures of uh, all the athletes and it, it, where it's like, it's like pictures of like saints, pretty much like all, uh, like the equivalent, like it's like a religion. And I'm not saying it to make fun, but it's just like kind of the truth. And this is, I don't want to like break their hearts and tell them, oh, that's fake. But, well, this isn't really religion. It's something you're a fan of. And I don't know, it's, it's that something's either real or it's not. And yeah, I, I've looked into it and it's all too suspicious to be, to be true about it, like not being fake. Like, why would they have all these gadgets? The official, like the computer chips and everything and the things, whatever, like that can make it into like a mini drone for the balls to maneuver them and getting stuck on the basketball hoops, football, uh, post or goals, whatever those are like, well, that shouldn't be possible. It's like the, the, it's clearly because of magnets or whatever doing that. Yeah, it's too suspicious for me to think that this is like real. It's like, yeah, they're, they're, they're skilled athletes. That's why they were hired, I'm sure, to do this. But it's like, <clears throat> so like professional wrestling, like uh, WWE, you see Hulk Hogan fighting uh, uh, whatever, Andre the Giant, Macho Man, Randy Savage, or or whatever, you know, that's, it's, it's theater. It's not real. It's the same thing here, except for purposes of like rigging and like money, more money, like rigging purposes and stuff, uh, as opposed to professional wrestling where it's clearly, it's entertainment, but it requires a high degree of athleticism. These, re the wrestlers really need to know like how to do these moves and um, they, they're like all serious, like intense bodybuilders and everything. Yeah, that's, that's cool. It's like, but you can still watch it and it's fun, but it, sports and everything like football, basketball, baseball, uh, whatever, uh, hockey, it's, yeah, it's fake as hell. I'm sorry to say that if that like breaks your heart, but look into it. It's a, the evidence is out there like it's it's clearly just not not real and this has been going on for i don't know how long i know the technology is like i guess improved and they're able to do this like a lot easier now than they used to and it's like the more they go on the more the more money is in it and everything and <clears throat> this also explains to me why so much of my life, I've done like martial arts and I've always wondered why are martial arts not as popular than, than football, baseball, ex basketball, soccer, hockey, everything else. Like, it's like, how is fighting like not as entertaining? Like, I know there's MMA, but that's a bit different, but like, I'm talking more, I guess, like traditional martial arts, like. Taekwondo, karate, stuff like, you know, uh, Hapkido, Judo, like older stuff. Like, why is that not as popular by comparison? It doesn't, it never made sense to me, but now I'm realizing, oh, wait a minute. It's because that's, that would be harder to fake. That's why. It's because that's actual fighting. And whereas if it's, so let's say a basketball game, they, they, yeah, they're, they're, they need to still be skilled athletes and, you know, have a high degree of stamina and, you know, and muscle and every, everything, be skilled athletes and everything. But it's like if that, there's that much money in it, they could rig it more easily if they have a little computer chip or whatever, whatever it's called that can guide the ball to be like a, a little drone or whatever to fly or like magnets in the hoop or, or however however it works but it's something like that so <clears throat> they just shoot it in the general direction and then it goes in the hoop there's even videos you can see on youtube here there's uh youtube channels where people do these kind of uh shots 
like uh, where they'll, they'll just throw the basketball behind them and it just goes in the hoop. And that kind of proves to me that like, yeah, this technology exists. And if that technology exists, there's no way in hell they're not using that to make money. And where would they be doing that? Professional sports. So, yep, there you go. Sports are fake. Uh, I don't mean to break anybody's hearts, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, you look into it, it's a pretty wild rabbit hole to fall down once you realize this. I hope you guys liked the video. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.